Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Now we are going to visit the one and only mosque here in Bonaire Also in Bonaire, alhamdulillah there are Muslim people and the Muslim community on this island is growing every day alhamdulillah for that So this is a new road that leads to the mosque as you can see, I think I drove the wrong way to the mosque because this is the back side. Let's see if we can drive around it. Otherwise, we have to turn back and take the main road to the mosque. Look at the building, mashallah. Yeah, this is not the way. As you can see, this road is new and they're still building it and that's a dead end so let's turn back and find the main road to the mosque the roads over here are in terrible condition so there's a Another big building in front of the mosque, it says Casa de Oración. I don't know what that is. And on my right hand, we arrived at this beautiful mosque. Let's see where the entrance is. Yeah, this is the entrance. And as you can see, this is the mosque of Bonaire. There are approximately 100 Bonarian Muslims on this island and the numbers are still growing, alhamdulillah. And the other Muslims on Bonaire are originally from Morocco, Egypt, Suriname, Guyana and some other Muslims that come here on this island as a medical student and they are mostly from uh, the United States, Canada and Palestine. So before praying, Muslims have to watch themselves to be clean. Let's see where the... All right, this is the place. So before praying, Muslims have to wash their hands, their arms, their mouth, their nose, their heads, their ears, their feet, to be all clean. And uh, Imam Dawood from Ghana, mashallah, He's the Imam here yeah. in this mosque. Uh, this uh, due to the social distance. Uh, because of the social distancing, yeah, because we are living now with the COVID-19. The government do order to make this. Yeah, the government told that, uh, yeah, they have to do, to practice social distancing in the mosque. MashaAllah. So, um, how many people approximately on Friday, on Jumu'ah, come uh, uh, to Friday, pray on the, Jumu'ah, in the mosque? Only 50, 50 something. 50 something, mm. MashaAllah. Uh, 50 something people come on Jumu'ah to pray in the mosque. Yeah. And, and how many on a normal day? Normal day, Let's normal say if, uh, day 20, 20, 20 something. 20, 20 something, MashaAllah. So as I already told you, there are more than 100 Muslim families on Bonaire and also Moroccans, Egyptians and medical students who are Muslims. Who yeah, now the medical school is not, it's no more here. No more here because of the, the situation of yeah, COVID-19. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
and this is for uh, people that uh, want to start uh, practicing Arabic and to read and to understand Quran. To read and to understand Quran, you need to read and understand Arabic. So these are the letters in Arabic. So the place in the middle, yeah. in white, yeah. that's where Imam Dawood does his khutbah on the Friday prayers. Oh. And uh, maybe you can um, tell the people where you are talking about on Friday. What are the subjects? Yeah, for, for the khutbah, oh, uh, more, uh, we have we treat many subjects. Yeah, but for the last Juma, uh, we treated uh, our salah, the importance of salah. So that, and we have three uh, explanations about the salah need three issues. Three, uh, one need to be humble. One need to be always constant prayer, as Allah is saying, uh, Always, you need to pray. You don't pray for some time, and other time you don't pray. So da'im, da'imun. And also you must be khashi. Allah mentioned yani walladhinu fi salatim khashi'un. Those who are humble before Allah. So khashi'un means humble? To be humble. It's God-fearing to, 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 to submit yourself. Yani al-khudu. Yani ma al-khushu ataqwa. Yeah, to be humble. So we can say humble. Okay. To be humble before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, That's what the khutbah was uh, from last week. But in the Islam, every Friday, the Imam does a different khutbah. Yeah. And the Imam talks about everything in life. Yeah. Everything in life. Yeah. Like. In this coming khutbah, uh, we have intention to make khutbah about the patient. Because before one uh, can be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to endure to be patient. Sabr. Sabr. And the sabr has divisions. So sabr ala ta'a, how you be, how to make patient to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second, we have sabr ala aza. Aza means to be patient with, the, with uh, uh, your neighbors, before you live with them, you can endure and, and tolerate. And also we have sabr uh, ala bala, means if something happened on you, disliking issues come on your way, like how it affects Ayub and other uh, uh, Rasul, the messengers and other uh, companions. So we, we must be sober to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we without this, it's difficult to, uh, to succeed or to pass because you must be firm yeah. and the sober will take you to uh, the right way and you can also be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Insha'Allah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in what language do you do the khutbah? Uh, in Arabic, also in English. In Arabic and also in English. Yeah. So when uh, the Muslims are here, um, the, the Bonarian Muslims, uh, yeah. they, do they all understand Arabic? Yeah, we have Arabs who don't understand English. Mm -hmm. uh, but majority of Bonaire, they understand English. They understand English. Yeah, and the Europeans are also here. So they all understand English. Okay. Yeah. So the khutbah is in English. Yeah. MashaAllah. This is the patio in between uh, outside and inside of the mosque. This is where the, the Muslims gather, drink something together, drink maybe Moroccan tea. I don't know if they drink Moroccan tea, but I'm going to tell them to drink Moroccan tea because that's the best tea in the world. <laughs> 